what in the world is going on in the tutoring industry? Do you wonder how to expand your tutoring business? Are you ready to take your tutoring business online? Are you looking to become a better tutor? Get ready for the Tutor Outreach Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Alicia Alice Holland. This globally syndicated radio show is empowering you to move forward with your tutoring goals to manifest your dreams of building a successful tutoring practice. Coming to you live, bi-weekly on Blog Talk Radio, this hit show is tailor-made to help tutors and tutor business owners worldwide. Dr. Elise brings her knowledge, experience, and sense of humor to each show while introducing you to guests from all over the world who are experts in the fields of tutoring, coaching, education, and leadership. Call in with your questions or share some of your own experiences in academia. The Tutor Outreach Radio Show starts now. Here is your host, Dr. Elise. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tutor Outreach Radio Show. I'm your host, Dr. Elise, and I help tutors and tutor business owners build heart-centered global learning organizations to serve humanity, whether it is in the local community, face-to-face, or online in the field of education. As America's number one tutor business training company, the Tutor Outreach Group is a professional organization for tutors, teachers, college students, other small business professionals who want to start either a home-based tutoring business or tutoring company, get clients to grow their tutoring business, improve their tutoring repertoire, gain insight into leading and hiring for a global learning organization, strategically grow their tutoring business based upon their own life purpose. The Tutor Outreach Group provides premium resources and networking opportunities throughout the year. You can find us at www.thetutoroutreach.com. Also, I am available for group coaching through one of my tutoring mastermind groups. Registration is now open for the 2019-2020 Tutoring Mastermind. We have already posted our 2020 Tutoring Mastermind schedule. It will be in Toronto, Canada in July 2020, in Kingston, Jamaica in December 2020. You can see specific dates and register at www.tutoringmastermind.com or on Eventbrite. Come join us for a life-changing experience to help you on your tutoring journey or to just expand your overall brand. If you have questions, call into the show. You can join us online in our chat room and ask your questions there. If any of this resonates or you just want to leave comments, then let us know. Depending on how you are listening in to our show, whether it is on Apple iTunes, Stitcher, Blog Talk Radio, YouTube, or any other digital radio platform, you can leave comments and rate our show. Thank you in advance for your continued support. Today, we have digital marketing strategist Charmaine Campos here with us to discuss digital marketing secrets for your tutoring business. But before we get into the show, let me share a little bit more about Charmaine Campos with you. At Do Good Communications, Charmaine has developed a custom approach that takes all of the frustration and uncertainty out of digital marketing for tutors. She has helped individual tutors, learning centers, education nonprofits, and school districts grow social audiences, increase brand recognition, and enroll students consistently and predictably. A graduate of the University of North Florida and lifelong learner of what motivates parents to make purchasing decisions when it comes to the education of their children. Charmaine knows what it takes to create an effective strategy and implement it for you. So you don't have to feel like you just don't know where to start with your marketing. At Do Good Communications, she is on a mission to help professional tutors and educational businesses communicate effectively online so they can focus on what's most important, which is making a difference in the lives of 
students and families in their community. On that note, let's welcome Charmaine Campos on the Tutor Outreach Radio Show. Hello. Hello. Hello, Charmaine. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Just fine. I was looking at your biography and all the things that you do at Do Good Communications, and I said, oh, my gosh, we've been looking for you. Where have you been? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I want to thank you so much for inviting me on the show. It's a privilege to be here. Well, it's an honor to have you on the show. So we ask each of our guests, how did they get into the tutoring industry? So basically, why did you get into the tutoring industry to help other tutors and tutor business owners with their digital marketing? Yeah, so I served as the interim director of uh, communications for an education nonprofit for a period of several years. And through that nonprofit, we do this giant fundraising event for educators in public schools. And I got to know a lot of the local educators in my community. Many of them work in schools and also tutor offline. Uh, But the biggest challenge they have in building the secondary income is marketing and communications. And so I wanted well, I had I already was coming from a place where I wanted to help them make a difference in the lives of students. And just finding out that there's this whole other job that uh, teachers are trying to do on the side uh, really just spoke to me. And I was like, wow, you know, I can really help them to make a difference for more students. And so that started me off in pursuing uh, do good communications and just helping Uh, individuals who have that heart of service, who want to make a difference for children, uh, do just that. Wow. I am like, I have goosebumps right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, (laughs) you're having this literally (laughs) because that's the number one challenge for tutors. You know, how do I get clients? (laughs) Right. (laughs) So you may have already answered this question, but, you know, for the record, for the audience, why is marketing important in tutoring and is it something that's necessary? You know, a lot of people say word of mouth works, but is marketing really necessary? So I'll tell you, Dr. Elise, I spoke with many tutors. I've read personally about 2,100 parent reviews on tutoring sites. I've done surveys with parents and with people in the tutoring industry. And this is what I found about word of mouth. Word of mouth works seasonally. And what a lot of my clients who are teachers or or who are tutors have told me is, okay, I can fill my calendar during the school year or just before the school year, but then you have these, this off season in the summer, or even right now, early fall is a period of time that my, my tutors consider to be kind of an off season because folks have started school. They're not thinking about tutoring until grades come out later um, in the school year. Um, As people in education, we know that you don't necessarily want to wait until you get that failing grade before you start making um, moves to improve your student's performance. Um, And so it's I would say that marketing is important in tutoring for two, two parts. If you are relying on word of mouth and only marketing seasonally, then you're missing out on an opportunity to help a child uh, before they're failing uh, or before they're in some kind of trouble. And then it's, it's also a service to families and parents. You know, good marketing helps make our families and our local communities aware of the choices that are available to them in improving and supporting their child's educational uh, goals. And I think that for tutors in particular, 
there's an opportunity to tell a different story about education. Uh, you hear a lot of sto uh, stories in the national media about public schools and private schools, but there's the story about the one-on-one -on -one relationship between a student and a caring adult. Um, and we know as folks in education that maybe it's not the teacher that helps the student. Maybe it was a guidance counselor or a neighbor or someone from church, or it was a tutor. Uh, and so I just think that there's a huge opportunity to share the story of the impact that tutors have on the individual lives of children and also to help raise that awareness for families that there are choices out there. It's not uh, just send your kid to school. You don't have to necessarily pay a lot of money for a corporate center because within the tutoring landscape, there's one-on-one, -on -one, there's online, there's learning centers, there's all kinds of different educational experiences available for students that can make a difference and help them be successful. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. So that's why marketing is important so that people can know that they have more than one option is what you're saying. Yeah, I think it's a real service to the community uh, to be a responsible marketer. And then, of course, from the business side of it, it's, it's about growth. You cannot have a business if your marketing is not effective because you, you won't have students. You won't have a business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what is the biggest mistake that tutors and tutor business owners make with their online marketing efforts? I think the biggest mistake uh, that tutors may make with online marketing efforts is that they're not doing it. Uh, folks will create a website and then go out to tap into the word of mouth network and sort of point those people to the website. What that does is it cuts down on the tutor's time to actually educate uh, and, and work with kids because now you're having to go to events, you're having to set up all these meetings, you're having to be somewhere else uh, instead of with your students. Um, and so that reliance on a word of mouth network, I think, is a, is a big mistake. A lot of my tutors have great digital assets. They have wonderful websites. They have great resources on YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, but they haven't figured out how to attract uh, their audiences to those resources so they can build relationships uh, and flood their pipeline with students fill and fill that calendar. Wow. So if you could give one marketing secret away what would that be and why? I would say um, the, the biggest secret that I think I like to give to people is that your social media uh, platforms, are, they're not a billboard. It's not enough just to post an announcement of, okay, I need six students or we are running this uh, special uh, sign up or we have a free course sign up. Um, e it's kind of people think of social media a little bit like a bulletin board, like you just put your announcement and then people will come. It used to work that way, but now it has evolved into a true um, social space. And so you have to think of social media as a room full of people that you're walking into. How are you going to build relationships with those people? And how are you going to convince them that what you have to offer is the best offering for them? Uh, those are the questions that I would put out as my secret sauce for social media. Wow, that is definitely one good secret. <laughs> <laughs> So what makes your approach to digital marketing unique? Why would people want to come to you to help with their digital marketing needs? Yeah, so I've worked with a lot of different marketers in the digital and in the traditional space. I've worked with agencies, designers, all sorts of folks. And what I find is a lot of times a big agency will create assets for you. They'll write your website. They'll build it out. 
you know, and then they give it to you and they say, good luck. I hope you know what to do with this. Um, and so people <laughs> will have great content, but they'll stall out because they don't know how to distribute it. And what makes my approach unique is that not only do I create all those assets for you, but I decide what distribution channels are the best. I make recommendations. We test it first so we can learn and say, okay, these audiences are responding. Let's continue this. Or these audiences don't work. It doesn't make sense to invest your money here. Um, and so you, you have a true partner in your marketing efforts who wants to ensure that you're successful. Um, I bring that to my tutors because I know that there's a lot of anxiety um, around, am I doing the right thing? And is my money well invested? Uh, and is the time that I'm putting into this even worth it? So I take all those questions away. And when folks work with me, they can, you know, there's a guarantee that yes, we're not going to put your money where it doesn't need to go. Wow. See, I want to sign up right now for one of your programs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. So, all right. <laughs> so do you work with all private tutors and tutor business owners? Yes, I do. I work with private tutors, tutor business owners, uh, folks who have mentoring organizations, basically anyone that is trying to create a one-on-one -on -one experience for children to help them be successful um, and who are about supporting children and families in their local community. Those are the folks that I can work with. Okay. So how can they reach you? Uh, you can reach me at www.dogoodcoms.com. Uh, all my contact information is there. Uh, or by email at charmaine at dogoodcoms.com. All right. Well, I can tell you this. You're definitely a friend of the Tutor Outreach Radio Show. We love you. <laughs> yes, I love you guys, too. <laughs> Is there anything else you would like to share with us about what you're doing to help others? Do you have a book coming out, a webinar, any workshops? What's going on? Yeah, so I will be in Tampa presenting for the National School Public Relations Association. Uh, the Florida superintendents and education attorneys will be there. So if folks are in Tampa and want to stop by, I'll be presenting about um, advocacy and the role social media plays um, in creating education advocates and in uh, proliferating information about what folks can do to get involved in their communities to support public education. Um, and I just want to let folks know, you know, I've worked with different clients before. They've seen an average of seven leads per day. We get half of those leads converting to try a free class or sign up for a consultation with the tutors. Uh, we drive some powerful engagement numbers. I have clients who are seeing 300% increases in the people that they're able to reach when they work with me month over month. Um, we even launch campaigns that see three signups within the first couple hours that it's launched. So that it's powerful, the results that you're able to achieve over digital. And this is not to say that digital marketing can replace a word of mouth network or a traditional media strategy. They should all work together. Um, but I want to say don't skip out on digital marketing because you're missing a huge opportunity to make uh, to make an impact. Wow. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. I wish we could have more time to ask more questions. Ms. Campo, thank you so much for everything that you're doing in the tutoring industry to help tutors and tutor business owners. You are definitely sent from heaven. You're a merchant of hope, and thank you so much. Well, thank you, Dr. Elise. Thank you for having me, and enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, you too. This is Dr. Elise with Charmaine Campo. We're going to take a quick break, 
And when we return, I will share with you some messages from the spirit and angels. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Learn the secrets to awaken your own financial genius. Mark Jackson II has written an Amazon International bestseller, Read Me or Stay Broke. This gripping story does the impossible marvelously. This book entertains and educates the reader. The book transforms the reader with an emotional journey filled with dynamic financial discoveries. In an effort to pay his dying mother's medical bills, Josh has burned the candle at both ends for far too long. In a last-ditch effort to stay afloat, he works even harder while his boss is breathing down his neck. Exhausted and desperate, Josh comes to a simple realization. He is broke and out of options. Until one day, a mysterious woman offers him a challenge. Her company offers him the chance to learn the powerful money secrets of the rich secrets that have built fortunes for centuries but were always hidden from the public. But there's a catch. If Josh can complete the challenge, his mother's bills will be paid in full, fail, and she will die in debt. In his darkest moment, Josh agrees to the challenge. You will learn side by side with Josh as he is exposed to the seven mentors, savings, debt, credit, taxes, business, stocks, and real estate investing. The seven keys to wealth building. To save his mother's life, all he needs to do is listen, learn, and apply the secrets from each lesson. Will he be able to learn all the secrets in time? Can he complete the challenge in time to save his mother? This powerful story will keep you on the edge of your seat. You can get your copy on Amazon.com. Do you want to stay connected to Mark Jackson II? You can find him on Facebook under Mark Sweeney Jackson or www.facebook.com forward slash Mark Jackson 2. And read me or stay broke at www.facebook.com forward slash read me or stay broke. Mark 2 is also on Instagram under Mark's Jackson 2 and read me or stay broke. Lastly, you can find him on Twitter under at Mark Jackson 2. In today's global society, parents are realizing that their children must get a quality education so they are taking charge of their own child's learning needs. It doesn't matter whether children are attending schools or being homeschooled, they still have continued support when they are working on their studies at home. Similarly, children who are being homeschooled have the same options available to them too. Parents may opt to seeking tutoring services to supplement their child's homeschooled educational program. Any parent that has the desire to work with their children at home should have good information about how to strategically help him or her reap the benefits of using a data-driven approach to learning at home. In 2001, the United States Congress passed the bipartisan No Child Left Behind NCLB Act that promised high standards, accountability, more choices for parents, and research-based methods of instruction. Parents are realizing they truly have control of their children's education, and many options are available to them. Written by an educator and mom who has been a long-time tutor, this book will take you on a journey in which you will discover more about your child and yourself. Once you get to know your child academically, you'll learn how to choose the right learning environment for your child, select a curriculum for your child, plan your child's lessons, supplement your child's curriculum, access your child's progress, keep track and report your child's grades to him or her and the school, and find professional development opportunities for parents who want to help their child. Take a data-driven approach to helping your child at home. By using these strategies at home with your child, you'll experience a significant increase in your child's academic achievement and prepare your child for future global opportunities. You can get your copy of 8 Steps to Helping Your Child in School, The Parent's Guide to Working with Your Child at Home, Strategies to Improve Your Child's Academic Skills on Amazon.com, or submit your book order at orders at iGlobalEducation.com. On the Tutor Outreach Radio Show with Dr. Elise, while we were on break, I intuitively 
collect a, a postcard from the spirit using the Colette Baron Reed system. And also I intuitively got some messages in from the angels and spirit that I will be sharing with you as well. Let me share them with you. Dearest you, we are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith. We know how long it has taken for you to reach some of your goals and that you have had disappointments along the way. Right now, we suggest you take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune in to the vibration of well-being. Temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality, but we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now. Change is the only constant, so be open to it. You will achieve your dreams and more, we promise. But more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, and the quiet commitment. Your happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not in arriving at any destination. You are surrounded by so much love and care. Can you feel us? So, as I shared with you guys earlier, there are many ways that the spirit can communicate with you, and you owe it to yourself to develop your relationship with the spirit, no matter your faith, so that you can get the 411, which is the divine intelligence, through your intuition on how you need to navigate your life, okay? Two numbers came up for you, and they were the number three, which deals with creativity. That's definitely a way that will allow you to access your intuition. And then the number 37 deals with time out. You need to take a chill pill, meaning you need to really step back and reevaluate what it is that you need to do, whether it's for the next day the next hour, the next five, 10 years, we're talking about short-term and long-term goals as the spirit shows me here. Now, two messages that came in from the angels are see only love, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing and undreamed of ways. Blessings in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You will understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Archangel Michael is calling on you to keep your eyes on your targeted intention. My prayer. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubt, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. So, so you understand the importance of creativity. And you taking the necessary time out so that you can recharge, you know, ground yourself and be in a position to where you can listen to your intuition. Many of us, we're good at praying. We're good at putting in our prayer requests, asking God to, you know, help us with certain situations. But we still need a little bit of support on how to hear from God, how to hear from the divine spirit. And again, you do that through listening and connecting to your intuition. And there are various types of intuition. And your challenge is to find out how you communicate with the spirit and how the spirit will like to communicate with you. This is my challenge to you. If you would like to work with me, Dr. Holland, you can go to my Tutoring Masterminds website, 
www.tutoringmastermind.com and register for my next upcoming 2019-2020 Mastermind. If you have any tutoring questions, then join us in one of our Facebook groups, and you can find that information at our Facebook page, the Tutor Outreach Group. We love having active group members. We are in this together, guys. You know, please feel free to let us know what you're doing in your tutoring practice in some of the best colleagues find each other in one of our Facebook groups or any of our upcoming events. Um, it, it's amazing how like-minded people come together and build that positive collaboration and friendship over time. So I am deeply humbled and grateful for each of you. Thank you all for trusting me to help and support you guys. I love you. Join us every second and fourth Tuesdays of the month at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned and make sure you tune in to the show. You don't want to miss this episode. I wish you and your family much prosperity, joy, peace, abundance, love, and happiness, and all of the fruits of the Spirit, guys, as you continue to travel. Make sure that your intentions are positive. It's the flow and integrity of your heart that truly matters when you are doing something for others as well as yourself. Be gentle with yourself, guys. Gratitude, grace, compassion, respect take you places in life. So keep that with you as you travel on your life's journey. Remember, you are loved. You are valued. And you are competent. Have a great week, and I'll see you back here next time. You've been listening to the Tutor Outreach Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Alicia Alice Holland. This hit show comes to you live every second and fourth Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on Blog Talk Radio. Each show is empowering you to move forward with your tutoring goals to manifest your dreams of building a successful tutoring practice. If you've missed any part of this show or want to find out more about Dr. Holland, visit thetutoroutreach.com. That's thetutoroutreach.com.